For Best Reggae Album, the nominees are Monty Alexander, Israel Vibration, Stephen Marley, Ziggy Marley, Shaggy. And the award goes to Stephen Marley. And uh, we accept this award on his behalf. For Best World Music Album, the nominees are Afrocubism, Femi Kuti, Lady Smith Black Mambazo, Tinatawen. And the Grammy goes to Tina Darwin. Hello, I'm obviously not Toreg, so I'm not Tenerowan, but I am Ian Brennan, producer of the record. They unfortunately are between world tours and their home in the desert right now, leaving for China and Australia in a matter of days. But this award means a lot to them because it means that they're being heard and they're being listened to. The entire record was recorded outdoors in the desert, the biggest desert in the world, bigger than the United States physically, in a canyon that's about a third of the size of this room in terms of its width, with ceilings and uh, rocks that rise up higher than the Staples Center. And they began their career over 30 years ago making free tapes for their friends playing broken and homemade instruments. So this means everything to them. And it would not be the record it is without Kip Malone and Tunde Adebimpe from TV on the radio, who are nominated later today, if not for Nels Klein from Wilco, who's nominated later today, and if not for Roger and Gregory from the Dirty Dozen Brass Band, who proved that even in the wettest place in the world, New Orleans, in the driest place in the world, which is southeast Algeria, just a few miles shy of the Libyan border, that there is something that unites us, and that is music. Music saves lives. And when we listen to each other, we know that there is a potential to understand one another. When we understand one another, we know there is a potential for empathy. And where empathy exists, hate cannot continue. And there is a chance to rise above it. So thank you very much. Thank you very much. <laughs> 